Thank you. Check out Russ's face, everybody. How about that? Yeah. Um, can I can I get a bar stool or you something have, up here, we please? We, we only have the one. You want it? I mean, is it for non like no, non-Hispanics no, only or? Scround, scround. Need the bar stool. I would have brought a just, chair just or something. One. Thanks. Here. Sorry, guys, we only have one in My the whole bad. house. Yeah. I would have brought a chair, but I only have seven functioning fingers. I can only do so much. Ooh, sympathy card. Nice. nice. I'm Thank you, Wyatt Earp. I could just do what? Just talk? Oh, use talk. Where did where did the robot go? I don't see him anymore. I miss the guy. Yippee Kaye. Hey, thank you so much. All right. How's it going, Open Stage? This is my first time here. Yeah. Thank you so much for that warm welcome. Uh, my name is Diane Michelle, like he said. For those of you that can't tell, I am Latina. But my parents, thank you, found a fan. Uh, but my parents are such horrible Hispanics that they decided to name me Diane Michelle McCracker. <laughs> Way to take away my street cred, mom and dad. Like, they didn't even give me a chance to be a ghetto Latina, you know what I mean? Like, what if I wanted to join a gang? Or get pregnant in middle school? Sharpie on my eyebrows. I guess they saw how all my cousins were raised before me, so they basically raised me to be like the anti-chola, you know? Like, yeah, like, they didn't, there was no alcohol at my quinceanera, which I didn't know that was even a possibility. And uh, they put me in private school at a really young age, uh, so I've been hanging out with the whites since I was five. It's okay. You guys look so cool. Y'all are like, y'all don't want stand-up comedy. Y'all want like lie down comedy. Like, that's awesome. I'll just, I'll just join you guys. So, um. <laughs> oh my God, this is so comfortable and awkward at the same time. So, um, yeah, whenever we moved to Dallas, you could tell that our family, we threw off uh, the Caucasians, right? Because it was like, we look different than them. But, uh, like, we were the only Hispanics on the block that lived inside a house, not just working on it, you know? <laughs> I made a, a friend down the street, and I went over to her house, and the first thing I hear when I go through the door, oh my god, Diane, you're the first colored friend I've ever had over! And it was the mom that said it, like, it's weird. White people, y'all say some weird things, not gonna lie. I love you guys, y'all say some weird things. They threw people off that my mom wasn't a maid. And uh, like my dad, he doesn't own a lawn mowing service. So they're like, well, if you can't provide that for us, you're pretty much useless. So get off our block, right? Yeah, I love the white people. Speaking of the whites, uh, I have a friend who recently went vegan. <laughs> yeah. So this past weekend, I had my first vegan pizza, right? And this weekend, I also had my last vegan pizza. <laughs> Has anyone here tried vegan food? Yeah, okay, what'd you, what'd you think of it? You thought it was amazing? I thought we could be friends, apparently not. M my opinion is eating vegan food is like eating real food, but with a condom on your tongue. <laughs> I'll let that image marinate with you guys for a second. You've eaten vegan food? Yes. What did you think of it? Okay, I can see that analogy. I prefer the condom on a tongue, but we can use yours too. That's absolutely accurate too. We'll talk after the show. So, now, and then, the worst part was when the bill came, the server had the audacity, she had the balls to say, your total's $18. Say, um, hey, why? <laughs> like, if you're gonna charge me $18 for a pizza, you would think it would come with like, um, like flavor or something, right? It was horrible. So basically I'm down one friend this week, so. Whatever. Yeah, so uh, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering about my hand. Uh, I am a loud and proud burn survivor. That's the correct response, thank you. Um, now, okay, see, what happened was, 
Uh, you know whenever you're, you're, you've been drinking a lot and you get so drunk you accidentally drop your drink, right? This chick knows exactly what I'm talking about, yeah. And then you reach into a bonfire and pick it back up. Yeah, I don't know what that's like either. It's fine. No, I, I really was. I was at a bonfire, and I was with this guy, and we were on our first date. And uh, yay! Also, we were on our last date. I don't know what happened. I could really feel the heat between us, but whatever. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so we, were, we really were. We were at a bonfire, and apparently God felt like cooking Mexican that night, so... And surprisingly, when a Mexican catches on fire, it does not smell like fajitas. <laughs> Just smells like alcohol, Xanax, parent shame. The list goes on and on. Don't feel too sorry for me though. I was down to seven fingernails for a while and I got a 30% discount on manicures. <laughs> Silver lining. Now, my friends and family, they've actually been very supportive throughout this whole process. Uh, for Christmas, I got seven fire extinguishers. <laughs> One for each day of the week. And my friends, I'll change my personal ringtone to that Alicia Keys song, This Girl Is On Fire. Because <laughs> I have a bunch of assholes for fucking friends. <laughs> yeah, this one right there. Yeah, so uh, I've been in and out of the hospital for the past, like, 19, 20 months or so. I have very mixed feelings about that place. I was talking to a worker there one time, having a very good casual conversation, until the end, when she looks right in my face and says, you know, Diane, for a Hispanic, you speak English really good. Okay, first of all, skinny white bitch. It's for a Hispanic, I speak English really well. Yeah. Like, did she expect me to sound like Sofia Vergara and, and talk like this, like I'm from Colombia? And I have the easy breezy beautiful cover girl rack. Y'all are welcome. Can you imagine hearing Sophia ever got to come on the PA system where her clothing line is sold? Attention customers. This Sophia ever got up and maybe some other Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, yeah. So, yeah, a lot of things changed for me after I got burned. I had to slow a lot of things down in my life. I had to step away from the dating scene for, well, not so much had to step away as I just chose to be happy, but, uh... <laughs> I, I was dating this one guy, well, not so much dating as we were penetration partners, but, uh... <laughs> they know exactly what I'm talking about. Cause you're whores too, yeah. Yeah, they are, absolutely. No, we, uh, I, I got really bummed actually cause he said the wrong thing in bed. You know, those, those three words that ruin everything. We should date. Yeah. But he convinced me, he was like, I wanna take you someplace special, someplace nice and memorable. So we're at the bar top at Applebee's. Close, yeah. And the very first thing he tells me is, man, I'm tired of being broke. Wow, you're very good at this dating thing. <laughs> no, no, I mean, you can still order whatever you want. I'm just saying, I ain't pulling in a whole lot of money right now. And this is an intimate room. Let's be honest with each other. Ladies, fellas, when a guy tells you repeatedly on a date, just how much money he doesn't have. It's basically him asking you in a nice and subtle way, look, I can't pay for a whole lot for you tonight, but it would be great if you could still put out. <laughs> That's my time, everybody. Y'all have been wonderful. My name is Diane Michelle. <laughs>